In this video, we're going to look at how to register a user and create an account for them in Thrive Apprentice using ActiveCampaign. We're going to get started using Thrive Automator, which is basically the way in which Thrive Suite and Thrive Apprentice is part of Thrive Suite, how that connects with the outside world. They've done some UI enhancements as they've launched the version 1.0 of Thrive Automator, but essentially it operates much the same way. We're going to start by selecting what we want to be the trigger. In this case, our trigger is going to need to be an incoming webhook. So we're going to choose webhook, and here we're given a URL. This is the webhook that we need to put inside of Active Campaign, and we have a key and a value pair. So we'll click to select a value, choose dynamic mapping, and choose email and the key for email from Active Campaign, and again, this is determined by Active Campaign. It's going to be contact, left bracket, email, right bracket. Next, we want to do the first name, so I'm going to go to generic data, I'm going to choose text, and for the key, I'm going to do contact, left bracket, first, underscore, name, right bracket. And then I'm going to click done. Now that's our trigger, and then we need to choose what happens when that trigger fires. The first thing we want to do is click in here, click on WordPress, click find or create user. And now let's map that first name data that we chose before. So we'll click on the insert dynamic data. We'll choose webhook data, contact first name, and you'll see that it automatically gives us the syntax that it needs to work properly. We don't need their last name and we didn't ask for it. So we'll leave that blank. We're going to leave the user role as subscriber. And since we're not adding any additional profile fields, we can click done. Now what's nice about this, by default, it's automatically going to include their email address because in WordPress, you have to have it. So all we had to do was add the contact's first name. Now we need to choose what happens after the account's been created. Well, for us, that's pretty simple. We're going to add another action and we're going to find Apprentice, click on Apprentice. And you can see here, we have three simple options. Grant access to product is the one that we want. So we're going to grant an access to a product. And for us, we'll just choose our free training and click done. And because we also have a drip restriction on this so that users with free accounts created from, in this example, an active campaign automation, they only get access to one of the free lessons in that course. We are going to add another action and we're going to go to apprentice and then we're going to choose unlock content for a specific user. For that, we're going to the lesson and we're going to find the lesson inside of our Thrive Theme Builder Essentials or we could search for it getting started with Thrive Theme Builder and click done. And now let's take a look at our flow here. When an incoming webhook comes in from Active Campaign, find or create a user with the first name and email address, grant them access to the product, which is our free product, and give them access to just the one lesson because the rest are locked. That looks great. So the last thing we need to do is in the upper left-hand corner, give it a name, make the automation active, and then click save and finish. We are going to go over to Active Campaign next. So if you didn't copy this, go back into the webhook and click this little copy button next to the webhook URL, click done and save and finish. Okay, so our Thrive Automator sequence or automation is complete and it's built on the premise that an automation inside of Active Campaign is going to send that webhook to Thrive Automator. So now we need to kind of figure out how that's going to happen. Now we can tag a user inside of Active Campaign, which starts an automation in a number of different ways. One example is here in Thrivecart, I'm on the behavior section of the product creation, and you can see that on purchase, we can add them to Active Campaign, we can add them to a list, we can add them to a tag, we can remove them, etc. This one right here about adding them to a tag is what we're looking for. It's really easy to do that. You just click add rule when the main product is purchased, or you can choose any option here inactive campaign, add them to an existing tag, and then you can add them to the tag that makes sense for the automation that you're creating. Another way that you can tag a user is inside of something like ConvertBox. In this case, this pairs nicely with our example automation that we created. A user can fill out a form like this and under form settings integrations, you can see that we can add a tag directly to the user inside of active campaign just by submitting this form. So there are numerous ways in which a tag can be added. You could do this with a fluent form. You can even tag from a form from Thrive Leads or just from Thrive Architect using a standard lead gen form. Any way that you can apply a tag to a user in Active Campaign can trigger an automation that's going to be sent to Thrive Automator. So now let's look at that automation inside of Active Campaign. Creating a new automation, we're going to start from scratch. Click continue. 
Now to start our automation, we need to choose a trigger and we are going to choose a tag is added. And the tag we're going to choose is one of our free courses, sticking with our example. And we're going to run this once. There are reasons why you may want to choose multiple times. I'm creating more videos on, on a use case for that. And we'll just go ahead and click start by keeping this option simple. They get the tag, this happens. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to conditions and workflow, and we're going to send a webhook. So find webhook. And now here we want to paste in the URL for our webhook that we made in Thrive Automator and click save. So here's where we're at so far. They get tagged, and now the webhook sends that data, the first name and the email address, over to Thrive Automator, and their account creation process begins. You might want to do more here inside of Active Campaign. You can click this plus symbol here, and you can do something else, like under sending options, you can send an email, and you can create any email that you want. This can be an onboarding sequence or an email that tells the user all about the free content that they've just received. This could also be more information if this was a lead magnet. It's up to you what else you want to add into this automation. When you're done with your automation, don't forget in the upper left-hand corner to give it a name, in the upper right-hand corner to toggle it active, and then you're good to go. So at this point, what's going to happen? They're gonna get a tag, whether it be from purchasing a product in Thrivecart, filling out a lead form in ConvertBox, filling out a form on your site, et cetera. And that tag is going to be applied. It's gonna to go to Active Campaign. It's gonna send that webhook to our Thrive Automator automation that we've already built. Okay, but how does a user get their login credentials? You're probably familiar with this. We've covered it in several videos in the past here on the channel, but let's take a look at what email gets sent to them. Here in Thrive Apprentice, you want to go to settings, then you want to go to email templates, and you want to choose the email template new account created. Here you have a very simple email. You can, you can give it whatever subject you want, send whatever, choose whatever name you want. We might call ours Convology, and then you can write whatever email you want. This is the account credential email, and this is going to be the same email that gets sent to everybody regardless of whether or not they came in through a Thrivecart purchase or a Thrivecart free account or a ConvertBox lead form and so on. So you're going to want to keep this pretty general and not tailored specifically towards any one particular Thrive Apprentice product unless you only had one Thrive Apprentice product. For more of the onboarding nurturing emails, you can handle all of that in your active campaign automation. The one important thing we do want to make sure we have is the username and the password provided to them. That's important. And then we also want to check this box at the very bottom that says when a user registers to create a new free account. That's important if they're just filling out a form that triggers a webhook. So that's it. That's how you create an account in Thrive Apprentice, give them access to a product. I even showed you how to give them access to a free dripped protected product. I have a lot more content coming for Active Campaign and Thrive Apprentice, so if you're interested in that, be sure to follow the channel, and if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to leave a comment down below.